welcome to the YouTube channel of CrushTheStreet.com. This is a holiday weekend special where we will discuss the predictive merits of Future Money Trend's latest video entitled The Day the World Ended. It describes an apocalyptic scenario triggered by an Israeli airstrike on key Iranian points of interest, which sends parabolic shock waves to oil futures even before the opening bell of the New York Stock Exchange. The situation rapidly deteriorates as Iran predictably responds with brute force, sending oil futures even higher, taking along for the ride gold and silver bullion as nervous investors stampede for safe haven assets. When the bell finally does ring in the stock market, the Dow Jones drops precipitously, sending already jittery traders over the edge. Let's take a quick look at this incredible video. The following is a fictional story of events that may happen in the near future. Breaking news out of the Middle East today. Israel has just bombed several Iranian nuclear targets. As of right now, the U.S. has not confirmed this, but we are getting several reports from both Israeli and Arab news stations that indeed action has been taken in the past five hours. No word from Iran yet, either. 8.30 a.m., New York. Markets received confirmation that Israel has indeed bombed Iran. Oil futures have jumped $30 to trade at $120 per barrel. Gold futures are also up $80 at 1889 per ounce. However, the overall markets look to open down as well as silver, which is down $2.43, holding just above the critical $26 per ounce mark. 8.45 a.m., Washington, D.C. The president calls a press conference to let Americans know that the U.S., along with Israel, had no choice but to stop Iran from getting nuclear weapons. The strikes were precise, collateral damage was almost non-existent, and he believes this will send a message to the world of all rogue regimes. If you threaten other nations, plan to use nuclear weapons as a tool of fear, or try to hold the world hostage with constant threats of war, you will indeed face the consequences. The president goes on to say, We interrupt the president's speech for this important announcement. 17 missile attacks have just been confirmed out of Saudi Arabia. Reports on the ground from eyewitnesses are seeing thick clouds of smoke coming from Saudi Arabia's largest oil field, the Goer Field. According to experts, this may be the first of retaliation strikes coming out of Iran from the Israeli and U.S. strikes from earlier today. 8.50 a.m., Iran. Today, the great Satan and the little Satan have failed to destroy our nuclear program. They have both shown themselves to be real rogue states. Iran is surrounded by the largest military, largest navy, and blood-sucking Jews to the west of us. After the U.S. overthrew our democracy in 1953, they have been a tyrant that Iran has had to prepare for. Prepare for days like this, when this rogue state attacks a peaceful state, sanctions have crippled our economy, and now they bomb us. Well, today, the Iranian people strike back, striking at the heart of the great Satan. We have destroyed Saudi Arabia's ability to produce oil for years. In addition to us striking back at the great Satan's cousin, we have also announced that we will only sell our oil for gold. 9.15 a.m., New York. The Iranian strike and retaliation strike against Saudi Arabia has caused a massive panic on Wall Street. Though markets are 15 minutes away from opening, oil futures are now trading for $305 per barrel up $215 in the past hour. Gold is now trading for $2,600, and silver just broke its all-time high of $50 per ounce. Argentina, Mexico, Canada, and several African states have declared a temporary nationalization of oil production due to the accelerating crisis. An announcement if the U.S. will take a similar action is expected shortly. 9.17 a.m., Persian Gulf. A huge oil spill is seen in the Straits of Hormuz. What appears to be a planned spill by an Iranian oil tanker is now putting the world on edge. Our petroleum-based world is literally coming to an end. 9.30 a.m., Chicago. Oil futures are now pricing in the end of the world. The Middle East is going up in flames. Oil spikes to $450 per barrel on the recent spill news out of the Straits of Hormuz, as well as confirmation that Saudi Arabia has been completely crippled by the Iranian strikes. The Dow Jones plunges 1,100 points at the open, and trading is halted. The Resource Times is reporting bullion dealers across the world are reporting no inventory. Atmex, Miles Franklin and Kitco have all reported an overwhelming spike in buy orders. 
The closest you can buy gold for is on eBay for $5,000 per ounce. Silver's most recent sale went for $493 for a one ounce Max Kaiser coin. Although most of the reception has been positive, there are several critics that claim these events are merely a product of a wild imagination. However, long trending technical forecasts actually suggest otherwise. Let's review the first claim that Israel will strike Iranian nuclear sites. From a fundamental standpoint, this has been a threat leveled by the Jewish state, although it hasn't been done yet due to the unpalatable political implications for the world, not to mention the potentially horrific human cost. From a technical perspective, however, we are due for a major paradigm shift in the oil price. Taking a look at the chart for Brent crude, we can see a long-term pennant formation developing based on the spike high of 2008 and anchored at the lows of 2001, shortly after the September 11th tragedy. The formation is likely to be bullish due to the context. The anchor point is coming from a long-standing low point. As an example of the significance of a pennant formation, take a look at this chart for the Japanese yen, which begins in the top range during April 1995 spike high and anchored by the lows of 1990, where Japan's go-go -go days were coming to an end. I believe that the move for Brent crude will be explosive and will catch many investors off guard. When will this occur? Elliott wave patterns are not an exact science, but based on a proprietary cyclic analysis method developed by ContangoDown.com, it suggests that this move could come within the first few days of December 2013. Let's take a look now at the second claim where the Dow Jones will plummet 1100 points based upon the rapidly declining geopolitical events. Fundamentally, of course, Every American citizen should consider how the Dow Jones could rise so high after only four short years after the worst financial crisis in modern history, especially since none of the underlying factors that caused the crisis were ever resolved. Technically, and this is probably one of the most ominous charts I've ever produced, the Dow Jones is charting a long-term bearish wedge formation. In fact, the technical trend is suggesting that Congress will, in fact, find a solution to the fiscal cliff, at least temporarily, which would drive the index higher. An aggressive Federal Reserve anchored by quantitative easing programs is another underlying support which should be short-term bullish for the Dow. However, at some point, the free market will no longer be able to sustain artificially low interest rates and something will give. If the bearish wedge pattern is to play out logically based on time and price metrics, it will max out at 14,150 points sometime during December of 2013. Sound familiar? What should really send chills down your spine is a wedge pattern's ultimate price target of 14,150, which is just shy of the all-time high of 14,169 reached on October 9th, 2007. What does that mean? It would form a major long-term double top formation. And anybody who knows anything about technical analysis knows what that would entail. In fact, I believe it's far too coincidental that two reliable technical patterns are converging on a mass scale in the same time frame, which also coincides with a major move developing with crude oil. Finally, let's review the third claim of $5,000 gold and $500 silver. This is a claim that I believe is most up for disagreement or different interpretations. While these price targets are certainly within the realm of possibility when considering inflation adjusted highs, I believe that something extraordinary needs to happen for us to get there. Technically, the picture is not as clear as the other asset classes, but we'll give it a shot. Taking a look at the silver chart, I believe there are two bullish ascending triangles at play here. First, there's a minor triangle where the top line is represented by the $36 resistance level, which should be penetrated by December of this year. Over time, the price should continue upwards, but capped at the $50 resistance level. At the focal point of the second triangle, we should get a massive move upwards. 
when will the two lines of the bigger ascending triangle converge? You guessed it, within December of 2013. Keep in mind that these are forecasts and therefore should not be regarded as financial advice. However, I'll leave with this final thought. Economic collapses usually happen when people are least expecting them. Too many people are focused on the fiscal cliff issue, which makes me believe that our government will find a solution. This will cause people to quickly revert back to their old ways of living beyond their means and basically being a TV-induced mindless zombie. You will hear mainstream media pundits talk excitedly about a new era of prosperity as the Dow Jones continues to retrace new highs after new highs. And then, right after a record-breaking Black Friday and right before the busiest shopping season of the year begins, BAM! Tuesday, December 3rd, 2013, the darkest day of American history begins. The question is, will you be ready? My hope is that you will and that you also take the time this holiday season to appreciate the people in your lives. Without them, we will not be where we are now and we will need all the help we can get to start this new journey forward. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. For more unconventional ideas, please visit CrushTheStreet.com.